ABOP programs are verified before they can be activated or generated. ABOP dumps are errors that are not predictable and occur at runtime. An ABOP short dump is created and stored for troubleshooting or debugging every time an ABOP program is terminated during execution. A runtime error occurs when an exception is not handled or cannot be handled by the ABOP program. When a runtime error occurs, the ABOP runtime environment terminates the execution of the program and generates a short dump. If the short dump occurs in dialog mode, an error message is displayed to the user. The system generates a brief explanation of the dump and program termination in the system log and stores the dump in table snap. Developers use short dumps for evaluating and correcting runtime errors in the development system. When they occur in the production system, it is up to the basis administrator to analyze them. In a short dump, the system information at the time of the program termination, the termination in the source code, the used variables, and any other information, such as the SAP system, database, and operating system release info, that might be useful for analyzing the error is stored. The short dumps can be accessed in a readable format via transaction ST22. Short dumps are stored in table snap. To avoid it growing continually, you should schedule this daily housekeeping job with this report. This report deletes obsolete short dumps. If you want to keep short dumps from being deleted, you can exclude them from deletion by selecting the short dump and using this menu option. To analyze an ABOP dump, follow these steps. Proceed to transaction ST22. The initial screen for ABOP runtime error provides a rough indication of the system status. It shows the number of runtime errors of today and yesterday by default. If many short dumps have been recorded, you can assume that there is a general problem with the system that is affecting many users. If the short dumps are related to the same user, you can assume that the problem is related to only one user and is caused by the way the user is using the system. The search options allow you select today's or yesterday's dumps. More selection criteria can be used in the detailed selection area. Click Enter to continue. The short dumps are displayed. Double-clicking an entry takes you to the details. The short dump is displayed. The dump is divided into subsections that can be accessed easily directly via the folder structure, which is displayed in the left part of the screen. Information here includes data objects, active calls, control structures, and so on. The following is a non-exhaustive list of possible error situations. The kernel identifies an error state. In this case, send a message to notify SAP. The error was caused by incorrect system installation or missing resources, such as the database being shut down. There are several possible causes. Content of a numerical field not in the correct format. Arithmetic overruns. An external procedure is not available. Type conflict when transferring parameters to an external procedure. Scroll through the display to analyze the error and obtain information about the cause of the problem. If you need to contact SAP support, you should add the dump to the problem notification. You can download the dump as a file via this menu option. To keep up on all things SAP, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you'll never miss out on a new video.